take the sky from me. Titration of bases with strong acid. When you titrate a strong base with a strong acid, the pH curve is the mirror image of what we saw last night. Mirror image. It's going to start up here at the pH of the pure base, and then it's going to slowly descend as we add acid until we get to the equivalence point. And then it's going to plummet downward, hitting the equivalence point at a pH of 7. And then it's going to level out at the pH of the strong acid. Try sketching the curve for 100 milliliters of 0.10 molar CaOH2 with 0.1 molar HCl. Pause here. The basic shape of the curve is going to be like this. I'm just going to put some numbers in. First, I want to find the pH of the pure base. This is a little tricky because it's CaOH2, so I'm going to have to multiply my concentration by 2. Find the pOH, and then from there I can get the pH. The equivalence point is going to be a little tricky to find for the same reason. Moles of H plus equals moles of OH minus, that's NaVa equals NBVB, but NB, the normality of the base, is going to be twice as large as the concentration. From there, I can just solve for VA. 200 milliliters. And then finally, I'm going to put in the pH of my pure acid, which is just going to be 1. Now, wasn't that easy? If we titrate a weak base with a strong acid, we'll introduce a buffer zone, and the pH at the equivalence point will not be equal to 7. Don't worry, Peter. It's going to be similar to yesterday. We'll start with our pure weak base pH right here. And as soon as we add some strong acid, the pH is suddenly going to drop. So we'll have this little hump at the beginning, just like we did yesterday. And then when we have excess weak base with a strong acid, we'll have a buffer zone right here. Then we'll drop at the equivalence point, And the equivalence point is going to be at a pH of less than 7 because this is when I have equal amounts of strong acid with weak base. So the pH is going to be a little acidic. And then eventually we'll reach the pH of the pure strong acid. Oh, yes. It all seems pretty easy and wonderful. Pretty much like yesterday. Except in the middle of the buffer zone, the pH is not equal to pKb. Everything seems sort of the same, but a little bit different, and you might be expecting this to be true, but it's not. <sighs> no, it's still equal to pKa. Huh, how about that? The reason for this is because we are graphing pH on this axis. If we had pOH on this axis, then the pOH would be equal to the pKb right here. But since it's pH, it's still going to be pKa right there. Kind of weird, huh? Ah, River. She's so quotable. Let's just do a quick example, and let's just look at a couple points today. Uh, let's look at the pH at the equivalence point and halfway to the equivalence point. So let's just pretend that we're titrating 10 milliliters of 0.01 molar A minus, our favorite weak base. And Kb is 10 to the negative 6. We're going to titrate it with 0.02 molar HCl. I thought I would just make the concentrations different today to mix it up a little bit. So serious. Mm. First thing we got to do is find the equivalence point. That's NaVa equals MBVB. 
And I'm just going to put all my numbers in here, solve for VA, and it's 5 milliliters. This should not be that surprising. Since the acid was twice as strong, we only need half as much to neutralize 10 milliliters of the base. To get the pH at the equivalent, I'm going to look at 5 milliliters of 0.02 molar HCl mixed with 10 milliliters of 0.01 molar A-. I'm going to find my H plus concentration after I've diluted it. So I took 5 milliliters of my HCl. I mixed it with 10 milliliters of A- for a total of 15 milliliters. So I'm cutting the concentration by 3. I get 0.0067 molar. Because it's the equivalence point, we could go through that whole calculation again for the A minus, but I'm going to choose to trust myself, and I know that these two are equal because it's the equivalence point. It would probably be better if we calculated both of them, and that would be a check for us. We'd go, oh, I got 0.0067 both times. Ah, I must be right. So at this point, when our H plus is equal to our A minus, we don't have a buffer anymore. A minus is not in excess anymore. All of the H plus is going to consume all of the A minus, and I'm just going to be left with HA, 0.0067 molar of it. So I'm going to start with my HA equation. I'm going to icebox it. I'm going to take my Ka expression. Oh, I better solve for Ka because I don't know it. There it is, 10 to the negative 8, the Kw divided by Kb. And I'm going to substitute x terms in for these chemicals. I'm going to solve for x. And then I can get the pH pretty easily. This is the equivalence point, and you can see it's acidic, not 7. Yeah, like I said, it's too quotable. Halfway to the equivalence point, we're only going to have 2.5 milliliters of HCl. That's halfway to 5 milliliters. And I'm going to do my usual calculations for diluting each of the chemicals. And I'm going to get 0.004 molar for the H plus and 0.008 molar for the A minus, which makes sense because we're halfway to the equivalence. I should have half as much H plus as A minus. And then I'm going to have to adjust these to use the henderson hoppelbach equation, because this is a buffer. I've got excess A minus and H plus. So here's my henderson hoppelbach equation. I need the Ka value, so I get that. I take in Kw divided by Kb, and then I'm going to adjust these concentrations. HA is going to be my initial HA, which is zero, because remember this is a weak base being titrated with a strong acid, plus whatever H plus I added, which is going to react with A minus and produce HA. So that's my 0 0.0040 molar. And there's my answer. My A minus, similarly, I'm going to have to adjust it. I'm starting with 0 0.008 molar A minus, and some of it's reacting with H plus. 0.004 molar. So I end up with 0.004 molar for the A minus as well. When I put these terms into the Henderson Hasselbach equation, I'm just going to have a log of 1, which is 0. So the pH is just equal to the pKa halfway to the equivalent. Shiny. And that's it. Wow, that was short.